Here we go. This road is perfect. Exactly what I'm looking for. A nice narrow straightaway where we can pick up speed to 25 miles per hour. <laughs> it's a golf cart, not a rocket ship. <gasps> but ideally, when oncoming traffic arrives, we'll play a little chicken. Right? I'm not getting out of the way. I want to see what happens if I bump into a real car. Uh, that's not a real car. That's not a real car. What's up, guys, and welcome back to the coin game. And for today's episode, things are gonna be different. Okay, so far, my time in the arcade has had a lot of ups and downs, right? I've won a lot of crap, and I've won a lot of cool stuff, but none of that matters today because we are going after the biggest prize in the game. All I gotta do is win 100,000 tickets. How hard could that be? Now here's the thing, we can't just focus on the machines that spit out the most tickets. Okay, we need to focus on the machines that spit out the most tickets consistently. Like, I could go play Mega Drop again, and if I win the Mega Jackpot, great, that'll give us 3,100 tickets. But I could also be here for 45 minutes dropping balls and never once be lucky enough for it to go in that stupid little cup. <laughs> so I need to have some level of control over what's happening, which means I need to prepare. Step one, drink enough sugar so that you can taste colors. <laughs> Step two, eat enough cheesy poops so that all those colors, like your poop, become orange. Step three, take part in the robot raid. Because I've never actually taken a good look at you guys. Despite the fact that it's my birthday, okay, you know, get out of the way. It's my birthday, if I wanna be on stage, I will be, oh God. You look like some kind of Crocheted anus. Um, um, uh, boozy bear? Baked banana? I only wanted to be here for an evening, not five nights. Honest question, is there such thing as an animatronic that isn't haunted? Because <laughs> I've never experienced it before. I'm stuck in here until the next show. When they're gonna magically reappear, and I'm probably gonna be shoved inside of them. Right? Because I don't know where they're going to appear. What is it with animatronics and wanting to shove people inside of them? There's no space! Oh, uh, what the hell? No, no. Kids, kids, help! I'm stuck in the anus shark, help me! Oh, 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 wait, wait, drag. Drag Joe, yes, help me kids, help me kids, there we go. Okay, don't screw with the animatronic bands, just go back to the arcade. You know what, I think it's safe to say that our preparation is now complete. We have regained control and focus, we are mentally scarred, and we're gonna start off with Prize Master, because I haven't played this since the very first episode, but it looks like you can win a lot of tickets. All right, they got big boxes of tickets in here, so let's give it a shot. <gasps> Worst case scenario, I lose like $5 per play? Game is a bit of a ripoff. I still don't know if it's only one box that's a winner or not. Like, does the key only fit in one box or is it just the illusion of control? Oh, there's no way that fits. There's no goddamn way. Like I was saying, maybe it doesn't fit in every one. Maybe it only fits in some of them. There you go. Okay. And you can see my lovely new outfit because the developers updated the game. They added some new things. So what do we get for winning a prize here? 100 tickets, that's it? $5 to win a chance at 100 tickets? What kind of scam are you running here? That's one of the worst machines here. I can't believe that. Like, right next to it, we have Claw Madness Ball Edition. I can win 20 times as many tickets for a fifth of the price. What is this, a dollar? And I can easily get, what was this, 250. We'll, we'll grab this red 250 ball, and just like that, we've already won two and a half times as many tickets, and I still get three more attempts. It's got all the 500 balls as well. Why don't we try for one of those? A green one over here, maybe? When they're right up against the edge, it's difficult to grab them. You might end up with a 25, but nope, I'm a master. <laughs> so that's 750 tickets. And then that's gonna get dropped back down right there. Okay, you know what? I might be able to grab that as well. Uh, something like 
this maybe? Oh, 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 oh yeah. Oh yeah, that's the stuff. <laughs> so that's 1250. And then we could just do that one more time, right? To take you again. Help, help me out, help me out. Nope, I think that's a hundred. Right, is that a hundred? So we got 1350 for a dollar as opposed to a hundred for five dollars. <laughs> Completely absurd. I'm trying to think of which games I haven't gotten the jackpot from. I think we've won most of them, except for Dunko, right? This stupid Plinko game. I win it all the time, but then it spins the wheel and gives me a bonus five. How about we try to actually get something good out of this? No, I do want to grind tickets. That is the point of the episode is to kind of get the biggest prize and then maybe go find that golf cart and enjoy ride for a little bit. There's going to be more, don't you worry, but I still want to enjoy some of the games. So how exactly can we get the prize here? Get to get the letters, right? And just blink all them down and, and pray that you hit the light. Again, not that much control over what you're doing and my preparation is going to waste. Come on, I was scarred for life by animatronics for this. Help a girl out. Oh my God, there we go, thank you. Really curious what these bonus prizes are too because we've never seen a random fishy or eight card before. I want the bonus. The bonus has to be what I'm going for, right? I feel like a bonus is good. I'll take a fishy card though. Like last time they were giving out like lighters and switchblades and things that are really inappropriate for arcade prizes, <laughs> but they weren't really worth all that much money. I don't know what these cards are worth, but I definitely want to get them. Come on now. Help me out. Okay, we got the N. Give me an O. Ooh, can I get a U? Oh, 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 yes! Bonus, 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 bonus! Come on! <laughs> I could be at this forever, I swear. I'm gonna get these cards, though. We're gonna find out what they are at some point or another. They're so close. If I keep dropping my coins over here, we should push one over as I try to straddle that D. Oh, oh, oh! I got them! They, they fell on the floor. Did it go into my inventory? They're just disappearing. I swear to God, if the floor of this place is haunted too, I am just gonna lose my mind. <laughs> Come on, Dunko, cut me some slack here. Oh, oh, I got another one. I think, woo. Where'd that come from? Oh no, I, I'm, I'm, I'm done. Yeah, okay, we'll, we'll wait for the final push. Spit out some more coins. Is that mine? That's a hefty pile of tickets. Maybe those are the hundreds that I won. I'm really confused. Mostly because things are disappearing and reappearing. Well, I don't have any kind of magic Dunko cards in my inventory and there's nothing left on the floor. So maybe I could just exchange this giant pile of tickets, see what we got. Come on. Come on, help me out. 1700, really, that's it? Some of them say seven, some of them say eight. Some of them say fishy. So one of these things is not like the other. <gasps> but one thing that's consistent is that I'm always begging for that D. I cannot get the D every single time. And I know people are making jokes, but get your mind out of the gutter because I need a bonus. I can't, I, I just can't. I'm pissing away so much money and time on this stupid game. Oh yeah, now you're just gonna give it to me. Seven, collectible card. Collect all eight for extra prizes. I still don't know why I don't have one in my inventory because I definitely won some. Maybe they're just automatically kept track of. I should mention that I went on the Steam page for this game and just left a note saying to the developer, you know, a free camera would kind of help. It would help, you know, bloggers and news outlets and YouTubers kind of get still images to better represent the game. And the developer was super cool about it and whipped something up in a few hours. So big shout out to him. He's doing really good work or her or whoever it is. I have no idea. But now it really makes it easier for me to see the tiny little font on collectible cards inside of the machines. <laughs> and I can of course, holy shit. <laughs> Wow, that animatronic really did screw me up. You see, this still has the cool prizes that all the kids want, like fidget spinners and cash, switchblades and lighters and so on and so forth. But you know what? I don't really want to play Cuck 
double O coins right now. How about we try hockey? I think this is a pretty easy bonus to get and it should pay out like a thousand tickets maybe, he says as he fails miserably. I can't screw this up, okay, I'm Canadian. I gotta be nailing hockey. Come on, you stupid machine. I swear to God, did Red Green and Don Cherry not teach you anything? Keep your stick on the ice. Come on, there we go. There's a hundred tickets and a C, so we have O and C. I should be able to spell cocky in no time if I can just get a few more letters. Come on, K, there we go. I feel like I'm playing the Canadian version of Wheel of Fortune. Uh, can I get an H, Bob? Oh yeah, I can, thank you. Is it Bob that's Wheel of Fortune? I think it's, no wait, that's the Price is Right. I, I don't know, there's a lot of Bobs in the world, okay? E and Y is what I need to focus on right now and they're right next to each other. I have to edit out so much of this game because you sit here for like 10, 20 seconds at a time waiting for a letter to spin around so that you can bury it in the net and get 2,000 tickets. That's not too bad because I've been winning tickets along the way, so I might have gotten 3,000 out of a couple dollars worth of play. I may be wearing one of the most stereotypically Canadian outfits I could come up with, but I just can't keep doing it. Spelling out hockey for 2,000 tickets is not an appropriate use of my time. What about speed drop? Right, I like speed. Speed is good. I think I need to sink all the balls. Yeah, press a button, drop some balls, and, and I missed the second one, so I already can't get the jack. Mm. Okay, that, that's not good. That is not what I needed in my life. Oh God, I'm such a spilly ball dr No, no, my balls are falling everywhere. I gotta get my balls in check. What are you looking at? Get the hell out of here, R2-D2. I got uh, 40 tickets. That kind of sucks. I think I might have a foolproof system in place and if this works, we are going to absolutely destroy this game. When the cup reaches the blue pole in the middle, you tap five times. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, maybe four. Maybe four is a little safer. Yeah, why don't we do that? We'll just do one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Ah, uh, okay. One, two, three, four. Come on, come on. One, two, three, four. Oh, no, no, you're gonna be kidding me. I absolutely had it that time. The system works. I just get screwed. I swear they got like a little fan and they're blowing the balls around. I feel like it's win or lose right off the bat because you need to get as many as possible. That was actually kind of good into the first cup and that's the most difficult one. And then after that, they come pretty easily. If you know what to look for. Okay, okay. So, oh, I'm starting to sweat a little bit. I'm sweating, I'm sweating. We're gonna take this nice and carefully. Yes! The system works. Thank you, thank you. Oh, I appreciate that. Guys, I'm not gonna lie. I am going to destroy this machine right now. We've broken the system. Just as soon as we go get some more money because apparently I pissed all my cash away. I can't imagine how or where, but now would be a good time for me to leave. I'm sure we could earn some money in the great big world somehow, but you guys have been telling me in the comments that if I use my watch, I can not only instantly teleport places, but I should be able to summon the golf cart that I haven't been able to find. You have been reset to your last known position. What? I know this is my last known position. I'm looking for my golf cart. There is a little vehicle sign around the corner of the arcade, but there's never any golf cart out here, unless that reset it. Wait, there's nothing here. I can't take you. You're not a golf cart. It should be like right here. Right, I should be looking right at it. There is no golf cart. This is bogus. What if I reset? Your golf cart has been towed to your home garage. Oh, oh, okay. I'll teleport home. That's not a golf cart. It's the kind of van that you would hand out free candy or prizes to kids from the back of. Oh, here we go, I got a golf cart. It worked. Wait, what? It takes cash? Are you kidding me? I don't have any cash, so it's driving on fumes, I guess, but either way, we got a golf cart, that's dope. 
<laughs> Let's go do some jumps or something, I guess. I'm supposed to be looking for money, but, uh, I mean, who gives a shit, right? We, we got better things to do. Here we go. This road is perfect. Exactly what I'm looking for. A nice narrow straightaway where we can pick up speed to 25 miles per hour. <laughs> it's a golf cart, not a rocket ship. <laughs> but ideally, when oncoming traffic arrives, we'll play a little chicken. Right, I'm not getting out of the way. I want to see what happens if I bump into a real car. Uh, that's not a real car. That's not a real car! I think I lost. I was making a joke about the vans earlier. I didn't actually think there would be one. What the hell is this? I can pick these up. Oh, what? Oh, that's really clever. Newspapers? So, can I have a paper route in this game? Huh! That's a really clever way of making money! I I'm gonna go sell them all at the pawn shop, but I mean, I could have a paper route. Your favorite customer is back, Barry. And I could really use some money right now because I am this close to breaking the arcade, okay? I've got a foolproof system down, I know exactly what I'm doing, and you'll give me 50 cents for a newspaper and I didn't have to pay anything for them. <laughs> so that should be, what, like five bucks? Oh, 550, all right, well, we'll just uh, have to make do, I guess. I completely forgot the fact that there's a free money machine in the arcade, and I could just have way more cash tossed at me <laughs> than five dollars worth of stolen newspapers. I'm really happy that I'm behind glass, though, because those things freak me out. I I'm not gonna lie, not a big fan of the animatronic entertainment anymore. I just got a hundred and four dollars for doing nothing. I just stood still and talked. Okay, that's perfect. <laughs> that's exactly what I needed. Get, get, get out of the way, get out of the way. It's my birthday, okay? Nobody touch this machine. This is my machine. Just you wait. All those stupid little kids are gonna come rushing over here. They're gonna be so happy that I won the jackpot and yell happy birthday and all that crap when they're missing out on absolute magic. Actually, it's more like theft. <laughs> this is pretty much theft, I'm not gonna lie, because it's just that easy. Oh, baby. I got it down bad. I'm so happy that I'm actually good at the game now. Yeah, you see? Yeah, I'm gonna do it again if you guys want to hang out. You want you want to be friends? You want to watch me play? No? Fine, see if I care! I honestly didn't think it was possible for robots to get bored, but they really do seem to not care about me winning the jackpots anymore. Because <laughs> I get them every freaking time, and then, you know, some of them do come over, right? We, we got some people showing up, bouncing around, we're celebrating, there's no congratulations, there's no happy birthday, there's no noise, and then they just immediately meander off. <laughs> you guys are breaking my balls, come on now. I'm really curious where I am in the leaderboards for this game. Right, I might be near the top. If I could be the number one ball drop boy in the world, that would be a pretty good accomplishment. I should not be showing people how to win this game. Somebody's gonna watch this video and go ahead and grind this in their spare time and knock me out of contention. That would be very upsetting. Don't do that. Don't play this game, right? This is practically cheating. You don't want to walk away with all these tickets like me. You guys are not gonna believe this, but it turns out that this game doesn't really work all that well. I mean, don't get me wrong, it works because I am winning hand over fist, but it doesn't pay out the tickets, I don't think. I just exchanged my winnings and I didn't get nearly as much as I expected. There's another jackpot, so that's 500. 500 per jackpot. I've probably gotten like four, maybe five on camera that I can think of, stuff that I haven't edited out. Let's check the leaderboards. I have apparently only won 2,000 tickets at this game. That, that's only four jackpots. Like, that, that's not possible. And if I go ahead and win another one, let's see if it's still 2160 again. 500 tickets for the jackpot. 2160 plus 500 equals, anybody? Would anybody like to chime in on what that might be? It's not 2210, I'll tell you that much. When I take my winnings over here, I get a grand total of 100 tickets. So it's not paying out jackpots, it's only paying out my failures. 
I really hope this is enough. I cannot look at that claw game for one more minute. It's been like half an hour. Please, please, please. 12,000, 12,000, 12,000. Oh, it's so close. I need like 500 more. <laughs> All right, fine, fine. What are we gonna play to win 500 tickets? Because God knows somebody won't give that away for their jackpot. Um, what, what are you gonna play? What are you gonna play? Uh, you are complete luck. You don't have a 500 on you. I hate this thing. I don't know, man. We can give 500 tickets quick and easy. Mega drop, mega drop. You got 500 tickets for me in there? Come on, big boy. Come on. You know you want to give me that mega jackpot or not. What is this? Add a bonus ball. No, I, I can't exchange bonus balls for tickets, okay? I, I don't even want the bonus. I just want the mega jackpot. Come on. Come on. Even a regular jackpot would probably do. Yeah, regular jackpot would do it. What is that? Is that, is that the bonus ball dropper? Did I really get all the bonus balls? Bonus ball. <laughs> and the jackpot! <laughs> yes! So, we should get 1,800 tickets, but... I have to sit here for these five bonus balls to slowly oh, drop no. one at a time, and there's nothing I can do. Can I can I walk away? Can can I leave? Oh, I can leave. Perfect. That'll do. I did I not get my tickets? Maybe I need to wait for him to spit them out. Uh, hold on. Okay, I haven't I haven't gone anywhere. I I, I haven't left. I haven't left. Don't don't don't, 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 don't screw me. The jackpot has gone from 1800 to 220, which means I won. But if they didn't pay it out, so help me God. <laughs> this complete crook of an arcade, they didn't pay it out. They didn't even kind of pay it out. Oh my God, I'm gonna strangle a mini Mexican robot. Get back here. 200 more tickets, that's all I need. And you know what? I'll try this claw game because it adds a bit of variety to the video and it makes me feel better. So I'm just gonna remain calm and ignore the twitching on my face right now. It won't stop. <laughs> there we go. There we go. That's gotta be enough, right? That That's a bunch of tickets. No, I'm good, thank you. We have 50, 50, 25, 100, 100, and 50. It should be more than what I need, correct? Maybe, possibly, just spit them in there. There we go, 100,000. <laughs> Took way longer than reasonable. Hey, but isn't the big winner. Thank you, yeah, big winner I am indeed. I'll take the boom box. Boom box? That's the big prize? Wait, what? I thought it was something cool. Are you kidding me right now? It's just a, it's just a boom box. It's like an old radio. Can I even use it? Does it work? I can put it in my pocket. I can bring it to the pawn shop and sell it to Barry for a Grand total of ninety dollars. Ninety dollars? Are you kidding me? <laughs> I spent two and a half hours of my life and like a hundred and eighty dollars to get ninety bucks from the pawn shop. Wow, that, that's just the story of my life in this game. You know what, I think that's gonna be it for this episode of The Coin Game, guys. And I will be returning for more, but I wanted to mention right now that it might be a little while, because like I said, the game is being developed. They are gonna be adding a new arcade and new areas to go to and lots of stuff to do. But for now, I've pretty much seen and done everything that there is. So if you'll excuse me, I'm gonna hide on top of this vending machine until Barry comes in tomorrow morning, pounce on him, and steal my boombox back. Thanks so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you next time.